By the way, if you're motioning, I cannot see you back there. Just we like, are live. <laughs> okay. But literally, I cannot see you. There's a big <laughs> halo around that light. Well, you're just... I'm smiling at you. No, oh, there you go. <laughs> Still can't see. I don't know. All right. Welcome to our Monday night uh, preview. So every Monday night at 7 p.m. Eastern time, we do a preview of most of the things coming up the next week. It's not always everything. In fact, it's very rarely every single item. Uh, we definitely have uh, a number of things that kind of, you know, don't make it in because there are so many things going on. But if you are wondering what's going in tonight, it is a preview. It is not every single detail of every single item. It's a preview, which is kind of a, of a high level touch base showing you a lot of beautiful things so that you know if there's something you really, really want to keep your eye out on. Now, if you're saying, okay, that's nice, but what if there is something where I like, how do I know uh, what to do? Well, every day at noon Eastern time and Monday through Thursday at 8 p.m. in the evening Eastern time, we have a brand new collection or boutique that goes up for shopping. It can be one item, it can be 20 items, depends on the day. And whenever there's a new boutique, there's an email that goes out and it says, here's what you could shop for now. The evening boutique, every night at 8 p.m., there's an email that says, Here's what you can shop for now, if it's Monday through Friday, Friday, Monday through Thursday. And then there's a link to the preview blog so you can always see what's coming up the next day. Now, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, there's no evening boutiques, but you're still gonna get an email and it will say, here's your preview of what's coming up tomorrow. So, if you see something you like tonight, make sure and subscribe to our emails. Make sure and look at the preview blog that we have a link to in every 8 p.m. Eastern time email so that you know exactly what's coming up the next day and at what time it's coming up so that you know when to set your alarm. Because some things go really, really fast. I have to say, some things stay around a while and some things, boom. I mean, if you want to see people upset, see people that say, wait a minute, it just went up three minutes ago and it's gone. Um, and that's happened quite a number of times. So. Um, Tonight is going to be a quick preview of so many things that we have coming up for this week. Um, Kiai is here, Ashley is here. She's learning how to do cameras this evening, so um, be, bear with her if there's anything unusual going on. Um, David's here because we're going back to masking. Um, David has to be a, a good way away from me. So he's gonna be over there and you're going to hear him. Hi everyone. Just like Ashley and Kiai are masked and they're way over there. Um, so once again, we're spread out. We've gone back to masking in the office uh, because of the new guidelines for our area. Um, just really trying to be responsible and uh, stay on top of it. So you just heard David. Say it again. Hi, everyone. <laughs> I'm happy to be here. I wish I was out there with Lisa, but I'll be uh -huh. here in spirit. So David, you'll hear him talking about all the beautiful jewelry that we have coming up this week. Um, just a lot going on. I have to say it's one of those days where I'm just waiting for the fourth horseman of the apocalypse to come through. I don't even know what's going on with that. Um, just a, a lot of interesting things going on today. So we're going to start out with, oh, one of the things I just wanted to mention this um, is something that just started uh, Friday night, I believe. These are two absolutely beautiful masks. We've gone back to masking in the office because of the new guidelines. I think in a lot of areas, people are back to masking um, in certain situations. So, you know, we're, we're gonna be masking for a while in certain situations. Might as well have one that's really beautifully done. These are two beautifully, beautifully made masks. Very high end, beautiful quality. It's gonna be the black and the leopard. That's one or this beautiful, beautiful flower. Isn't that gorgeous, like a status scarf? And this gorgeous, gorgeous kind of blush salmon pink that I love. Now, whichever set of two of those you order, you're going to get, this is the mask I've been wearing all day, a set of the three cotton masks that we've offered before. So it's going to be two solids and a floral. You're gonna get these three, um, a set of these along with these. So definitely check that out because it has been amazing. Hugely, hugely popular. Love those. I'm just gonna put those over there. Katie's on a well-deserved vacation. So oh yeah, asking. Katie is on a well-deserved <laughs> vacation. We'll go, where's Katie? Katie's fine. She's yes, at the beach. Katie's more than fine, actually. I, I yeah, have no water there. in the house right now, but Katie's on vacation at the beach, so what does she care? She, I sent her an email tonight to kind of give her a, you know, just an update what was going on and I about, and she, about the water in the house, and she was like, oh my gosh, I <laughs> hope you get it back on. One of the joys of having a house on well water is when the pump goes out. Ain't life grand. Um, so, been interesting. Uh, just That just happened today. So want to go ahead and start out with a few of the things. I'm going to let you just get that off the rug. 
thank you. And then I will, thank you. Get it from here, okay. So, wanna give you a quick reminder that this beautiful Maharaja Polky Diamond Necklace and Earring Set. These started yesterday. These are in advance order. We only have a limited number of these um, to go around that they can make for us. Very, very popular, and this advance order goes away tomorrow, right, David? It goes away tomorrow at noon. Tomorrow at noon. Speak up, David. Tomorrow at noon it goes away. Okay, because <laughs> you're right. a little further from the mic than I am over there, yeah. even though at the, at the angle, you know, we're a good yeah. ways away from each other, yeah. but he's still yeah. a little further from the microphone. So a pokey diamond is a diamond that is a traditional setting for India and very high in jewelry. If you look at pictures, I'll never forget visiting India. I think it was one of the most beautiful places I've ever been. And we stayed um, in Jaipur, we stayed up in the mountains in a hotel that used to be one of the palaces of the Maharaja. And you would see the pictures of the Maharaja and the royal family all over the palace because this is where they used to, Explain you know, the, Mar Maharaja. the Maharaja is the ruler of India. Thank you. Uh, and I knew that. I had to look it up. Yes. Now. Oh, really? <laughs> okay. So the Maharaja, the ruler of India, and even though he was a man, he was draped in strands of diamonds and pearls. And it was traditional for the ruler to be draped in strands of diamonds and pearls. And you see this setting for pearls going. Uh, a long way back in India. It's also something you will see on a bride in India. When she is at her most beautiful, walking down the aisle, she will be dressed in pulky diamonds. A pulky diamond is one of the hottest looks right now in diamonds because it is more of an everyday wearable diamond look. The big trend right now in diamonds is wearable diamonds. That means you're gonna have things like organic diamonds, rough diamonds, diamond slices, um, you know, all these kinds of different, really, really cool ways of wearing diamonds. And the pulky diamond, has always been that. The Polky Diamond is a slice of a diamond that is set in a setting where the setting itself looks faceted. The diamond is just the slice on top and each and every diamond slice is a unique shape. Each and every one has to be set by hand. Traditionally, they have a black enameling around the diamond. We had them get rid of that. So this is gonna be 22 karat gold underneath over the sterling silver and on the sides and then just the silver on top surrounding each of those pokey diamonds it looks like a million bucks you have the earrings and the necklace i i, I love this combination too i was excited that they could even make this for us again because we've been offering it for a couple of years now but it, it just keeps coming back it's so over beautiful. and over and it's so popular and i think that do they do love this because it is so everyday wearable as you said oh, yeah. you know you you see in all the magazines now rough diamonds it's just not about the traditional diamond, which we all know and love, but it's about how do we wear diamonds a little more casual. You know, maybe a pair of jeans, these could go with me. These just look great with anything. And I, So, I you know, that's just a little diamond look yeah. for you. All the way around. Um, and you don't get that, you get that and the earrings. So isn't that gorgeous? Combination. Yes, you're gonna get the necklace and you're going to get the earrings. By the way, I love the earrings on their own, um, as well as with the necklace. I love wearing them separately, I love wearing them together. They are absolutely, absolutely beautiful. So this beautiful strand of diamonds, which I think I'll just leave on because I can. It's perfect, it's very often. You know, and then the beautiful, beautiful earrings, that set. Now what happened was the very first time that we ever offered these, um, this necklace and earring set, it was in the early days of the company, excuse me, and Katie and I were looking at that and we actually just were able to get a crazy, crazy great price on that first few sets. And we thought, you know what, we're never gonna do this again. We're just not even gonna take the regular margin. We're just gonna, this will just be a, just a special thank you to everyone, because we're not gonna do it again, right? So we. Like we so lowballed the price on it. And every time I Lisa <laughs> And it was just gone in a heartbeat. I mean the appetite for it was insane. I was like, oh my gosh, they completely get it. What have we done? Um and we have done everything to keep that price as low as possible. I mean that price is stupid. It is stupid on a diamond necklace like and earrings like this. So just to let you know, these are in advance order. They will be made for you. They are pulky diamonds and they are absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Only a very, very few of those to go around that can still be made for you because they can only make a few. We've already had a good number ordered. Now, this ring. 
Again, Pokey Diamonds. This ring started at noon today. It is wow. It is absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. This is going to be a big, beautiful, round Pokey Diamond setting in sterling silver. Absolutely stunning. It is not small. It is not going to disappear. It is holy Toledo. Did you see that ring? I love it on any finger, like the ring finger, the first finger, the middle finger. Look how gorgeous this is. Look at it from the side. Look at all of that work. Isn't that stunning? And then look how beautiful. How gorgeous is that? Like, are you even kidding me? And in this case, they took the Hulky diamond and married it with very light champagne diamonds in there. Yes. That's a half a carat of diamonds mixed with the Hulky diamond. And I think it's a beautiful combination. Um, someone asked me on customer care today, um, should I size up? And you do not have to size up on this ring. Just letting everyone know. Oh yeah, know. no you don't. You don't. You don't. So, something about well, it reminds me of a peacock tail. Like if you took a peacock tail and you made a circle out of it. Yeah. Just get something about it, I don't know, it reminds yeah. me of that. Um, we were down the last callings by the way. Whoops. So, I'll get it. Wait, hold on. I, I'll get it. Yeah. So, um, so we are down to, to last call on this ring. Awesome. I'm not surprised. Yeah. Just to let you know, if you like the Pokey Diamond ring, we are um, down to last call, so I don't want you to miss it because it's absolutely, absolutely beautiful. Um, now, this started at noon today, and it's not an advance order. The necklace and earrings are an advance order. This is not an advance order, so what we have is all we have right now, right here <laughs> on that one. Um, now, coming up, oh, also today at noon, we had um, this absolutely Gorgeous, wait for it to fall. Linda this. Caputo said, wow, that ring is beautiful. Oh, thank you, Linda. Sharon's on Facebook from home, but I always appreciate when David helps us out from here because he can actually see it. Sharon, um, obviously we can't hear Sharon because she's at home tonight answering. So here you can see how beautiful this scarf is very equestrian and we were talking about the equestrian influence in the earrings the other day but the equestrian equestrian order the equestrian order was an official order in ancient rome and it was created um, for people who were who were wealthy and the, the sign is if you were wealthy enough to own a horse that meant that you were a person of means and it was called the equestrian order now under augustus Augustus made an official class of millionaires, which is what the equestrian order became. So the equestrian, this influence, has literally, for thousands of years, been a sign, a status symbol, a sign of success, a sign of luxury. And I love this. This looks like it should cost four digits and it should be framed somewhere. It's beautiful. It's the hot pink in the background, the beautiful, beautiful kind of turquoise cornflower combination blue the hints of orange the gray i mean oh my gosh is this gorgeous the shape is beautiful and very easy to use how stunning is this and it could be as easy as just throwing it over your shoulder when you're going somewhere all you gotta do simple sheet and if anybody bought the equestrian earrings last week which are now sold out very popular how great would those <laughs> look with this Gorgeous! So, I love that scarf that started at noon today. I love um, a scarf on a bag, I love it around your shoulders, I love it around your arms, I love it just on one shoulder, however you want to wear it. Absolutely love that. Then we have this beautiful, beautiful necklace. This chain has so much hand work, it is amazing. It's a beautiful chain, then you have the little bars, and the bars are each diamond cut. So much handwork, absolutely beautiful. Your choice of rose, white, or yellow on this one. And David, this is made in Italy, right? Yes, it's Italy, and it's really a, a, a work of art because you know chain doesn't just chain comes out of a machine when it's all the same thing. They, chain right. doesn't know. Oh, let's stop and start and put those bars on. Right. So, there's the, there's a hand workmanship on this that is beautiful. Basic chain has become so popular again because of the layering factor. I think it's yeah. like you know you can. Feel free to layer any basic chain with any of your other necklaces or, or wear it alone, a great pendant chain too. And this is a pair of earrings that um, is coming up at 8 p.m. this evening. I love these earrings and you love these earrings. These earrings are such a gorgeous classic design. They have a beautiful princess cut stone dangling and then they have a small hoop with pave stones. We have it in rose, white, or yellow on this one. 
I really, you know, next time we have to make sure that we have the split screen here so I can see the oh. other camera because I have no idea oh. where where anything is except the one shot. So I can't tell if you're I almost can, here. Or... I can give you more. Can you just give me like the split screen so sure. I can see both? Sure. Hold on. Um, so these earrings are absolutely, there you go. If I put my hand behind, then it focuses on them. Um, absolutely, absolutely beautiful. The pave work, the dangle, rose white or yellow. We, I think this is the fourth time we've been able to get these no, for you. It's the fifth time. Fifth time. Unbelievable. It is the perfect little earring, the perfect little sparkle. Um, I don't have a third hole on the stand, but here's the yellow. How gorgeous is that? Rose white or yellow, definitely, definitely. If you've missed this the last four times, now's your chance. <laughs> the fifth time is the charm. They are, they are just that everyday earring. A great gift. I mean, we sold these at holiday time and they were gone in a nanosecond. So these are just beautiful earrings for any time. They have a hint of sparkle. They're not too much. Mm -hmm. They're very comfortable. Gorgeous. I love how they look. And just this, I, I, I bought these, a couple pairs of these, just to give them to some, uh, my sister or some friends and stuff. So now we also have this necklace and I call this kind of an organic drop necklace because this is made so that the stones just kind of have an organic feel to them. They're scattered around. They're supposed to be scattered around. We have this in rose, white, or yellow. It's teardrop shapes in pave, and then little bezel set stones, and it's made to just have this organic, kind of asymmetrical, cool feel yeah. to it. One of the hottest things in the world right now when it comes to necklaces is layering. These are perfect for layering. Perfect for layering, and just the hint of that sparkle that comes off of these drops, very feminine. This is what, because they have this, these drops to them, um, it really does come in very nicely to layer this because you have a little bit of action going on in the center. Mm -hmm. You do a necklace on top, a necklace on the bottom. It's really a wonderful standalone piece. And we've offered a couple of these and they keep, oh, they keep selling out. So Gorgeous. this is a look that I think they're really liking because it's what you're seeing in the trademark and all the magazines, not the oh, trademark. Yeah. And you know what, I'm gonna put this down, I'm just gonna warn you, uh, before I take this out of your shop, I'm gonna put this down. Um, and um, that's our first grouping of jewelry. I'm just gonna leave this one on while we're here. And very quickly, right now, are we on camera one or camera two, Kia? Uh, camera one. Camera one, okay. So is it, is Clean it? Clean V on bottom left corner. Oh, okay. So live. There, oh, thank you, okay, gotcha now. All right, thank you, David. Um, now I know where we are, we're all good, <laughs> okay. So I also wanted to show you some of the beautiful home that we have for this week. And you know, when it comes to home, I think number one, a little pop of color is always beautiful. I love these dahlias. These dahlias are the most beautiful colors I've ever seen. It's a soft tones of pink. And then this one has a soft, soft yellow with the pink. And you're going to get a combination of both. They are absolutely gorgeous. They look real, they feel real. They are big and beautiful and amazing, and I cannot wait for you to see them in person because they are so beautiful. So those are the dahlias. They're a real touch, and once again, you're gonna get a combination of these two colors, which I love, 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 love. Now, the dahlias are sitting in a beautiful blue and white vase. That blue and white vase, I love. This is a more geometric take on chinoiserie. It has more of a global feel, so it can go more primitive, it can go more global, it can go more classic, it can go more chinoiserie, it can go you know, more formal or more casual, but I love the blues and I love the patterns and I love the shape of that one, and that is absolutely, absolutely stunning. Just kind of get those things out of the way so you can see it a little bit better. Now, these beautiful glass candle holders, aren't these gorgeous? They look like cherry blossoms. When you look on the inside, it has a beautiful reflective silver on the inside, but it has no reflective silver on the inside just to cut up for this beautiful pattern. And so it looks like cherry blossoms going all the way around. It's beautiful for fairy lights. It's beautiful for our LED flame. It's beautiful for a candle, however you want to do it. I put a couple flames in these, but they're stunning with, with fairy lights too. So this set of two candle holders, I love, and we just now got them back for you. And I have to say, I think they're just one of the prettiest, prettiest things we've ever offered. And I was so excited that we could get them back for you. I love those. Now, speaking of beautiful and feminine, this gorgeous, gorgeous cloche. So this is kind of a mesh 
design on a cloche. A cloche is a bell, kind of that goes over something. This is made to be a little more antique, a little more aged with a whitewash, has the beautiful pattern on the front and the back, the finial on top. It's done in a white and you're seeing through to the brown. You can lift this up so you can put a candle in it. Like I have fairy lights again, gorgeous in these. So many different things you can do with them. And I love that cloche. I think it's so beautiful. So that cloche is also coming up this week and it is gorgeous. Now, the tray that you see sitting behind. You see this tray? This tray is the one that I have in my kitchen and everyone asks about it. Everyone asks about this tray. Every time we have a cooking chat, no one is even paying attention to me, which is probably good because I don't really cook, but um, everybody wants the tray. <laughs> it's like, hey, we're gonna get that tray because I have this on the range up against the wall. And so we finally got some more of this back for you. Uh, we're always trying to get more of this back for you. It's just not easy to do. And every time we get it, it's gone in a heartbeat. So I was so excited that we could get this back for you because I think it is absolutely, absolutely just a wow. Just a wow. Now this is a raised design. So if you want to lay this down, um, just know that you're probably going to want to put larger pieces on it, like book boxes and things like that. Because if you put something smaller, it's not a flat surface, it's a raised surface because that's what creates this beautiful, beautiful pattern. Deborah says that tray is amazing and Sloan says that vase has a deco feel to it. It does have a deco feel. I agree. I agree. I agree. Then we have these three beautiful bird candle holders and you're going to see that it has a little platform at the top and I love the fact that the platform has no spike so you can use it with your flameless candles. It comes down into a beautiful little bird and then down into this beautiful little circle, little swirl into the geometric rectangle and then into the base. It's done in kind of an aged feel which I love which is kind of a taupe but a little bit darker gray on the metal underneath. You're going to get all three of them. Each is a different height. This is the smallest one. The only difference is the, the height of the rectangle. That's what's going to make up your short, your average, and your tall that you're looking at right here. How gorgeous are those? So those are also coming up in this week. And look at these poppies. Aren't these beautiful? These poppies are the most beautiful combination of colors. They're going to be more kind of a deep pink more of a yellowish orange, more of a deep coral. Um, all three colors of the poppies together are just the most beautiful, beautiful combination. They are so real and so detailed. And again, not only do they look real, they feel real. Look at the detail. Isn't that amazing? And you're going to get a combination of the colors, so it's going to be absolutely this beautiful. So love the poppies, love the dahlias, love the flowers and those are stunning. So put that right back here. Now, oh, let me show you one other thing. Very, very cool. I'm going to angle this down. How close can you get on this, Ash? Just to, I want them to see that the gears are moving in it. So it's a little tough. Look at that. Zooming live, zooming live. Isn't that cool? So these gears are actually moving. Do you see that? And I love the fact that the gears on this are all moving kind of different directions, some different speeds, very cool. I love, there's something very zen about this clock. I can't even explain why, but it just is very zen. It's like a, like a little sand garden, but you don't have to keep redoing it. So I love the clock. I do want to let you know that it's in a black metal frame and it has the, um, like the bolt heads here, it is definitely deeper. Um, so if you want to hang it, it's gonna come out, obviously it's gonna come out a little bit more from the wall to be a little bit more important, which I think is stunning. It has an aged pewter uh, kind of feel to the actual face, loving that. Gorgeous. Sometimes I forget which camera I got it. Loving that. So that clock is also coming up. Whew. Gina loves the clock. Well, the clock is pretty amazing, I have to say, <laughs> on that one. The clock is amazing. Um, we also have, by the way, very, very quickly, 
the, the lightweight sweater that we had that was made in Italy that you absolutely loved, I don't even think we have any of it left. Brand new colors coming up. This is a beautiful, beautiful bubblegum pink and it has the sparkle trim. It's a very lightweight sweater. We have it in the pale pink, which is absolutely stunning. And we have it in the beautiful, beautiful pale blue. Such pretty colors, such a beautiful top. Made in Italy, absolutely stunning. Cannot wait for you to get it. It's the perfect transitional piece. So I know that you will love that. Excellent. And then, oh yeah, wait for it. The Hutton. Um, this is a beautiful classic bag that looks for the world like one that cost you know, four or five digits. Um, it's done in the Croco embossing. This is a beautiful bark color. So it's kind of a dark grayish brown, almost black. Really, really beautiful. Love the horn back embossing. So it has to be placed exactly correctly. Uh, there's a lot more waste. It's a lot more expensive. It has that beautiful pattern going down the center. And then on the sides, the placement on the top flap, the regular um, Croco on the sides, the horn back in the back, feet, good to go. Um, and even though you can, you know, put this in here and put these across and nobody ever really does that. So the way most people do it is they'll open this up, put that flap in the back, just like that, and then carry it like this. This is how most women carry this bag if they carry it in the original that inspired this. So absolutely, absolutely, Love that bag. Deborah um, said, OMG, that bag. Yes. Wow. Right? Wow. Oh my gosh. This is, I think, the most beautiful color. There's something about this color. It's just, I mean, the bag is phenomenal anyway, but this color, forget about it. Absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. Something about the color. I can't even stand it, so I want you to see it. Um, love that bag. Oh, you know, it kind of goes with this, so I'm just going to show you both at the same time. Um, I think it's stunning. So here's the equestrian scarf and then here's the bag. Don't they both just look like, you know, a crazy, like, oh, I just got off my private plane and, uh, you know, I'm going to our third home in the Hamptons. I don't know, wherever it would be. Uh, but I love this. I love the soft colors of this status scarf. I love the equestrian influence. I love the beautiful patterns on all the horses. I love the grays and the blacks around the edge, and then I love it with the bag. So, just to show you. Liz okay. said um, the bag color is stunning. Is it the same size as the others you have offered? Well, this is the Hutton, and we've done the Hutton, okay. which is slight, it's different than the Monaco. Okay. okay um, they're both, asking. yeah, they're both um, a similar size, but they are two different bags, if that's any help, um, just so that no one is confused, because it's pretty easy to be confused around here. All right, I'm just going to grab this, because David has set up this next little. Got it, got it, got it, got it. That's a nice little group for me here. Thank you, David. Um, all right, so one of the things that, of course, we always love is speaking of status pieces, like the scarf and the bag, this is status jewelry. This is very high end in its look. This is done by the Italians. They do it in exactly the same way as they do their 18 karat gold. Exactly. And oh my gosh, if that were 18 karat gold, would that be a fortune? This is going to be 18 karat gold or rhodium over over bronze. Over bronze, right? Because okay, this is really yeah. this is really substantial. Otherwise, it would still be yeah. crazy, crazy expensive. Um, I love that the Italians do these beautiful pieces for us, and I love that we really make them as affordable as possible. It is beautiful, it is substantial, it is rich, it is dimensional, the texture is gorgeous, the movement is gorgeous, it is three-dimensional, it's not going to be something that doesn't look amazing from any angle. There's no angle this thing doesn't go wow. I mean, absolutely, absolutely wow. And one of the great things about it is a magnetic clasp. It just finds itself. So we have this in all three colors and we have it in 18 and 22 inches, David? 18 and 22 inches. Um, this is an advance order because it was so popular Oh yeah. and everyone was screaming, can you get it back, can you get it back, can you get it back? So we are offering this as an advance order. Even though Italy is closed, they're doing us a favor. They're going to get it to you in time and everything like that. But um, wow. 
I love your story. Last time we presented this, you said that the first piece you ever bought in Italy a long time ago was a oh, Byzantine. Yeah. You wanted to invest in a gold piece. And but that's, you know, that's what everybody does. If you go to Italy and you're thinking, you know what? This could be it. This is probably going to be my only time to go to Italy. I'm going to get one amazing piece. It better be a piece I'm going to love for the rest of my life. I don't want something that's a trend or a fad because I don't want to, a few years from now, look at it and say, oh, yeah, that was nice, but it's not so in now, right? I want something I'm going to wear right now and five years from now and 10 years from now and 20 years from now and 30 years from now. So you go to the Ponte Vecchio and you go in every single shop and you look for the most beautiful, amazing, classic, classic piece, timeless, elegant, status, couture and its influence, never going to go out of style. And what you end up with is a necklace like this. Yes. Whether it's a Byzantine or whether it is this status link, whatever, but it's this kind of piece. And so this is exactly the piece you would think of buying if you were in Italy. Absolutely. It's beautiful. And the factory who does this, I love because they really have nailed texture down. And the textures of those links with the high polish links mm -hmm. is a very deep, what the Italians call gradonato. It's that deep finish, but it's clean. It's very upscale looking. And the way they do it is the way they would do it in 18 karat gold. And a lot of these factories do only do 18 karat gold and they do favors for us. Yes. Because we ask them, hey, listen, I've known you for a long time because we have a lot of years in Italy. Right. And they say, okay, normally we don't rule because it's, it's even different machinery sometimes for silver versus gold. Yeah. But this is what they know how to do. They made this first in silver and we're bringing it to you in mean, and, and bronze, 18 karat over that. So yeah, it's, it's stunning. Absolutely, absolutely stunning. So I love that piece. I love that it's something that is actually going to be so much more affordable than you would ever think it would be. It is a beautiful piece. It's made for you in Italy. And it's going to be an advance order, 18 or 22 inches, rose, white, or yellow. Love that one. Speaking of Italy, this is an absolutely beautiful little bracelet. And this is a bracelet that is done by one of our favorite factories in Italy. It's a factory that is known for their religious medallions. Um, they do a lot of the beautiful religious jewelry that we bring you, whether it's crosses or, um, oh gosh, like the, the Lord's Prayer, yeah, the Lord's I mean, Prayer. all of, there's so many, yeah. so many beautiful pieces. This is one where they have taken the little angel, the little Cupid, the putti, as they call them, um, and they put it with a beautiful little cross. So you have two separate little charms there on this gorgeous little paperclip chain on a, oops, toggle clasp, isn't that stunning, in the yellow or the white, made for you in Italy, absolutely, absolutely gorgeous. And it's Loving also, that what a great layered piece too. It's, 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 mm -hmm. You can wear it on its own because it's, it's visible, you can see it very well, but it's also a piece that looks great with a watch, maybe another bracelet. There's so much versatility in this piece because it goes with everything. So I love that one. I know you're going to love that piece. It's so easy to put on, so beautiful to wear, absolutely stunning, yellow or white, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. By the way, An Andrea did the same thing you did. She went to the Ponte Vecchio uh -huh. and she invested in a piece. Now hers was a cameo ring because that's what she wanted to remember from her trip. Cameos, you say? Yes. Well, what do you know? Uh, so one of the things that we love doing is some really, really beautiful, beautiful, unusual concepts in cameos. Cameos are timeless. Um, you are absolutely correct. And what we love is something that is really beautiful and high end. Now, what's interesting is that Italy is known for carving the cameos. A lot of the shell comes from um, not from Italy, like yeah. uh, like Portugal, Spain. Yeah, yeah. Um, but the shell all comes into Italy and it's the Italians that are known for carving it. It's really, really a form of art and no one does it as beautifully as the Italians. What is ironic is that it's very hard to find high-end cameo carving factories it anymore. Really is. They are, they tend to be very rustic, very basic, and so the cameos look choppy and unfinished and these, but these cameos, if you're going, well, that doesn't look choppy, no. These are from one of the most high-end cameo carving factories in Italy. The, this is a factory that only does fine jewelry. This is unbelievable quality. We have it in your choice of the moon that you're looking at right there, or I'm gonna take one out of my ear, the sun. The sun or the moon. So you're gonna have two cameos because there's one for each ear. Yeah. And this is the way that they clasp, super easy right through the ear, and then it just, goes right into that and back. Isn't that easy? 
Really? I think, I think what you said is so true about the factories that do cameos because we have high standards to begin with and our, our factory, the people we work with in Italy know that. They're not going to bring us a subpar cameo factory. Right. You save money on it, maybe you can, but we want the best of the best. If you're going to invest in a cameo, you want something you're not going to look at and say, what is that? And how creative to do a oh, cameo yeah. of the sun and the moon? Because love everyone's it. used to the traditional cameo, which is the lady, which is beautiful. I mm -hmm. love it so much. But this is very special and different. And it's the same cameo that they make in years, hundreds of years they've been doing cameos. So one of the things that I love about this is that the detail and the quality is so, so beautifully done. Um, it's interesting because a few times they've tried to offer us cameos that were not as high quality as we wanted. And the first thing I just like, this doesn't look finished, send it back. <laughs> it has to be, it has to be really good, but look how beautiful. Janice says, gorgeous earrings, loving the moon pair. Debbie says, love the cameo earrings. Alexa says, lovely, lovely cameos. Aren't they gorgeous? So I love those earrings because they're different and they're beautiful and they're Italian. You're not going to see yourself coming and going, that's for sure. And Charlotte said, that's a different take on a camera and I absolutely yeah. love that. I'm so glad, so glad. All right, Lisa, one more. Uh -huh. before we go, uh, someone was asking about the weight of the necklaces. Uh, those, those. Oh, they're not solid, by the way. No, but they're, someone they're, said, is it, how, are, are they heavy? I think that's that they're a really, so these are a really good in between. Um, if the wall of if the wall of the link is too light, it'll sound very very tinny and it will and it will dent easily. This is not that light. If it is solid, it'll be so heavy it'd be uncomfortable on your neck. This is the perfect in between. I have to say it's substantial, not too heavy. It's really it's really so beautifully true. done, um, and that is important because especially if you're not getting it from Italy you can end up with something so heavy that it'll leave dents in your chest. <laughs> so you don't want that. So I hope that helps. I don't I have mean, the weight in front of me, but it's right loving in that bracelet. They said, love. Alma says, love that bracelet. Janice, stunning bracelet. Janice again said, love it. Lisa said, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Noreen said, oh my God, I love that bracelet. Oh, I'm Gala sorry. said, that bracelet is pretty. Um, Dana says, I want the bracelet. <laughs> Very good. stunning bracelets. Emily says that. So it's a lot of comments oh, good. coming out on the bracelet. And you can't and see I, these comments. That's why I'm reading I know. No, I appreciate that because I can't see the comments. So um, David is always great about that. So I love the bracelet too. It is very Italian and very elegant and very pretty and very feminine and very wearable. Um, so I love it because I think you'll wear it one way, your daughter will wear it another way, and your mother will wear it another way. You know, yeah. it just kind of goes with everything. Now, we also have this amazing pair of earrings, and I'm just going to take the yellow off so I can show you the way this works on the ear. So this is going to be a hoop in your ear, and then from the bottom of the hoop going forward is an oval hoop. Very cool, very different. It's a whole new take on a hoop. I love that you have the round and the oval um, on this. I think it's very cool. I love it in all three colors. I think it's just one of those fresh takes. Again, the Italians are always thinking of different things. To do, so. And I may be biased, but if I were a woman, and if I had pierced ears, if I were going to buy a pair of earrings, I would want them to be Italian. I really would. Because yeah. I, see, I see earrings from all over the world. They, everyone, a lot of people do tubing. Oh, yeah. But the Italians have a way about it. It's not only the quality, it's the craftsmanship and their design. Yes. The innovation. I love how this is almost suspended. That oval section is suspended from another hoop. And it's just, it's so flattering when you wear them. Um, please see the page that they're going to be on because there's some wonderful pictures of that. But you get to see them as this suspended earring and it movement. They try to get movement because every oh, time yeah. there's movement, it focuses on your face and yeah. the ear. So there are certain things that make you look whether you want to or not that just create an, uh, an unconscious reaction to look. One of them is movement. So, yeah, Joan, yes, those hoop earrings are silver. Oh yes, there you go. They are so love, love, love those earrings. Beautiful. All right, so we've shown you the cameo earrings, the moon of the stars, the beautiful brand new look in a hoop, that gorgeous little bracelet with um, the angel and the cross, and then that beautiful status necklace. So I will give this back uh, to David on that one. And then we can talk about a few more of the home items coming up. Now, one of them is here and two of them are here. Um, maybe we should just go over here because I have a couple more, but these are a set of three beautiful glass pumpkins. And this is a soft, kind of a little bit like a hint of smoky in the glass. And they're going to have a round opening underneath that comes up. 
so it's almost like a little bit of a, of a hurricane. You can put a flameless candle under it. I put fairy lights in it, which I think is absolutely beautiful. And I love that they're almost a topaz, um, gosh, like a topaz um, color of glass, just a soft hint of color, which I think is just beautiful. You're gonna get all three, they're all glass, they're all gorgeous, they're absolutely beautiful. I know you will love them. I think they're one of the most sophisticated takes on um, fall decorating I've ever seen. Love, love, love. And speaking of really cool things when it comes to decorating, I would love to live in a library. Look at this one. How gorgeous is that? This is a beautiful, beautiful, just kind of decor piece that looks like three beautifully loved worn books and then a pipe on top. Now, do I smoke a pipe? No, but I like the feel of this. I like the aesthetic of this. It just speaks to a beautiful library with books, you know, like shelves full of books and a big overstuffed chair and a fire in the fireplace and a cold winter night and your favorite blanket and curling up with the book. Doesn't it just, it just has that feeling to it. I love that. So this is a beautiful piece of decor and it looks like three books with the pipe on top. It's actually all one piece. So love that. Perfect for fall. I can't think of anything better for fall. And we also have two beautiful urn containers. This is the smaller, we have the larger. You can put a candle in these. You can do so many different things with these. Um, I wanted to show you this one as is. So you can see this beautiful butterscotch and then that gorgeous kind of deep brown taupe underneath, which is really beautiful. And then we have the larger one. It's two in a set. And I put our beautiful fall thistle into the larger one. So you can see it can really support a sizable, sizable arrangement. Isn't that beautiful? So this is our fall thistle, and the fall thistle is beautiful. It's, I love the texture uh, for fall. I love the rich colors for fall. Here it is in kind of a golden yellow. Here it is in a beautiful kind of dusty fall orange, and they are stunning, stunning. So those are coming up, this fall thistle in your choice of that golden or the orange. I'm gonna walk in front of this for just a second. And I'm just gonna lift this up for a minute and put it back down. This is a beautiful piece of art and it's glass and framed. And it looks like it has a beautiful aged piece of art in it. You can see more of that. Uh, when it becomes available, but just to let you know that one is coming up as well. And this beautiful, beautiful vase. I love this vase. It's a metal vase. It has a gorgeous, gorgeous kind of texture to it and the colors are beautiful and neutral. It has almost a brush look or like feathers. Isn't that gorgeous? That vase is also coming up this week. It's just the perfect size, the perfect shape. I love it with the thistle. You get the idea. Loving that vase. I will just put it right back down. I want to make sure I don't tip anything over because I have these a little close to each other. Okay, so far so good on those. Um, oh, let me see if there's anything else. Oh, wait. This is a beautiful little cardigan, and it's not a cardigan like you would typically think of. It's a beautiful layering cardigan. It has a gorgeous, gorgeous um, knit on the outside, and then the front has this extra layer of silk. This is all made in Italy. It is hand washable. So it's going to give you this layered look without you know, having to add another layer because it's gonna be an extra panel in the front. Beautifully, beautifully finished. And it has the angles and the hem, just gorgeous. So this is also coming up this week, made in Italy and absolutely, absolutely beautiful. This dress. So this dress is gonna be uh, a beautiful dress. It hits it just above the knee so it's not too short. It's black, it's silk, it's made in Italy, it's beautiful. It has a gorgeous long sleeve with the elastic on the cuff so you can just push the sleeve up. It has the little three buttons in front but it really comes with the bottom button attached which I think, I think where you're gonna leave it. Kind of an ampere waistline and a tiered skirt on it. And the skirt is of course going to have 
a knit layer underneath. So you don't have to wear anything under it, you're gonna be covered. This is the perfect little dress to wear right now with sandals or flip-flops. You can dress it up if you want. You can put it on with tights and boots and throw a leather jacket on in the fall and the winter. And oh my gosh, it's gonna be perfect. There's no wrong season for this dress. It is one of my favorite things and I can't think of anything better than a dress that goes everywhere all the time, right? If you're traveling, you can literally wear this with flip-flops one night, put on a heel, put some gray jewelry on, put your hair up, go out to dinner that night. The next day you could go to a colder climate. Again, wear it with boots. I mean, put a motorcycle jacket on over. This just, it's the ultimate little chameleon. So I love Janice that and dress. Janice and think the dress is perfect. I agree. Thank you so much. All right. Now, whoops. Thank you, thank you. There's one very exciting thing we have to get to before we're done too, so yes. I'm saving a little bit of time for that. All right. Now, this necklace we had once before and <laughs> wow. Um, I said a friend might be saying the other day too. She was like, wow, I have no words. I'm like, that's what I said the other day. So I just kept saying, wow, somebody said, is that your new word? I'm like, that's just, I just don't, have, I, I, I have no other words. That is all I can say is wow. This necklace is one of the hottest trends around right now, which is stones on one side, links on the other. Paperclip links, stones, yellow or white, absolutely absolutely gorgeous the italians did a beautiful job on this one we offered it boom it was gone i mean wow it was amazing. crazy so david um you know spent a lot of time on the phone with uh with italy and we were able to offer this again as an advance order, an advance order. and uh, let me just start by saying that the bus form is very straight so it's not hanging correctly in the bus form but you'll see those stones right in front when you wear it. They're mm -hmm. kind of drooping a little bit. It's not the necklace. It's just the way, I don't know if, that, I don't want them yeah. to think like, no, I don't, when you put I don't it on, it hangs correctly. Just don't be deterred because of that, because it's just the way, I, get, I put it on a bad form, I don't know what it is, but on the neckline it looks beautiful, and I love the combination. This is a trend actually, this is something Huge. that they're doing, where they're taking half chain, in this case, in this case, it's the paperclip chain, mm -hmm. which is probably the hottest chain around right now, oh, as yeah. everybody's heard us say millions of times, and then to combine that with the tennis link, the tennis bracelet, which is the you know, tennis necklace, it's that beautiful combination of the two. Um, it's something that you wouldn't expect, and that's why it's so beautiful, but it's very Italian. We can say this is like- Oh yeah, very, very. What the Italians do the best. Beautifully, beautifully done. Uh, we also have this absolutely beautiful pair of earrings coming up, and I just wanted to show you that this is kind of, it's really beautiful, because what it is is these diamonds kind of put together, diamond shapes put together with very small stones, which makes it very realistic, rose, white, or yellow. And you have the stones on the outside, in the front. And I just wanna show you the mechanism very yes. quickly, hold on. So the mechanism is very high-end and beautifully done, and you just hear it clasp like that, and then you just push this on the back and it opens. Now, if you don't push that, it doesn't open. If you push this little button right here, isn't that gorgeous? Very high end, beautifully done, all the while in the front, absolutely gorgeous, loving, loving. And this is how they would make an earring with 18 karat and diamonds. This is oh, how absolutely. they would do an earring. They would have that special mechanism. That's very expensive to have a mechanism like that versus the normal snap bar closure. This time it goes in, it's secure every time it's precision. So loving that, rose, white, or yellow, absolutely gorgeous. Then we have this beautiful, beautiful ring. This is Moonstone and... Candlelight. Yeah. So if you're looking at it going, gosh, it looks like a hint of purple. That is actually Tanzanite around the Moonstone. It's a rainbow Moonstone, so it's gonna cast different colors. Then it has this beautiful Tanzanite. It's done in black rhodium, absolutely gorgeous. You can put that on, since it's on my right hand, I'll put it on my ring finger. Um, isn't that beautiful? So loving that ring. That's coming up. That's an amazing, amazing amount of Moonstone and Tanzanite, all done in black rhodium and beautiful. It's over seven carats of Moonstone and over a carat of Tanzanite. Wow. All right. So that's also coming up um, this week. Now, I hope I got everything because I want to talk about something else now. Um, okay. Wait for it. Mm -hmm. 
One of the most important things in my makeup wardrobe is lip liner. Now you may say, why is lip liner so important? Well, number one, I cheat my lip line like more than I used to cheat my driver's license when I was too young to get into a club. And boy, weren't those the days. <laughs> I didn't even have to cheat my lip line then. Um, I cheat my lip line, number one. I need a lip liner that is going to go lay down with the right amount of um, opacity and coverage so that I can cheat my lip line and it's not going to look like I'm drawing outside of the lines, number one. Number two, it has to be exactly the right color. It is so hard to get exactly the right color. You know what I mean? If it's a little too blue, it doesn't work. If it's a little too red, it doesn't work. And I got news for you, I am lazy as all heck when it comes to my lip liners. I don't want my lip liner to match my lip color perfectly because I do not have the patience or the range or the bandwidth to match those perfectly. I want one lip liner that goes with pretty much almost all the colors I wanna wear on my lips. I call it Highlander, there can be only one. It has taken me over a year to get this for you over a year and that's after i'd already decided on the formula and the color by the way over a year and it is finally going to be here i can't even i'm so excited i'm so excited there are some things that are really important lip liner one of them here's one of the reasons why so once again this is going to go on beautifully what you're going to do with this is you're going to do the outside of your line then you're gonna kind of blend it in and then blend it in with your pinky. This provides a base. It's not just a lip liner, it's a lip base. Then you can put on that beautiful blushing lip balm. You can put on a brand new formula for lip color that we have coming up is just perfect with this. You can just wear this on its own. I have to tell you, if I'm running out and about throughout the day, this is the one thing I need. This lip liner. That's, the, that's my most important thing that I need running around throughout the day because it's my lip liner and it is my lip color. I can make my lips look fuller. I can cheat the lip line. It's gonna go with any lip color I wanna put it with. This is the most beautifully universal lip color I have ever found and we had to formulate it for you. Specifically, this color is perfect. It's long wearing. We call it happily ever after because you put it on, it's so great. Right now, all I'm wearing is lip liner. That's it. From the color of my lips, all I'm wearing is this lip liner. This is the lip liner that all of you have been asking about for over a year. And it is finally coming this week, this week, and I am so excited about it. So excited. This is going to be one that you sharpen, just to let you know. So make sure, you know, if you have one good sharpener, you're good. Um, I know you're going to love it. It is exactly the right color. Yes, we'll do a little video. I wanted to show you more about it, but trust me when I tell you, thank you. This is absolutely the most beautiful color of lip liner. It lays down beautifully. It blends beautifully. It stays beautifully. I cannot wait for you to try it. The one thing I am, I'm still a little foggy on is whether or not we can offer auto delivery on this yet. So I'll figure that out between now and we offer it. We're still going around and around about that. I want to offer auto delivery on it so much because you're not going to want to run out of it. Lip liner is important. I mean, I got to tell you, it's, I'm, I can use a different moisturizer before I use a different lip liner. I cannot use a different lip liner. I have tried, oh my gosh, so many different lip liners all over the world. I had a million different makeup artists do my lip line. This lip liner is phenomenal. I cannot wait for you to try it. It is coming up this week, happily ever after, and it's taken over a year. I'm very, very excited. Oh, thank you, David. After the chat. This do you have it? No, you have it. Oh, I forgot. Wait, do you see this in my ear? <laughs> I love this so much. Is this coming up at eight? Did yes, I just forget is. that? Thank you. Yes. Um, David's like, I'm on your ear. I forgot that I have the sample. This is an ear cuff. So the lip liner, oh, you can get closer to the lip liner right up here on my ear too. Um, this ear cuff has beautiful little pearls, real pearls. Isn't that stunning? That's coming up. We can't keep these in stock, and this is genuine pearl, by the way. This isn't fake. Pearl. This is new, this is new, right? We've never done this. This one is with brand new. I'm so excited. Um, and it's a little graduated, so the largest pearl is kind of on the outside, but they're all just small little baby pearls. Very easy to put on this one. Love, love, love. So, lip liner coming up this week. Ear cuff. 8 p.m. 8 p.m. It's a good night, I have to say. Loving.
Okay. Um, so many great things, so little time. Okay. What Can you tell everybody how excited I am about Wednesday? <gasps> oh! I am David, shopping. where is Wednesday. my brain? Oh my <laughs> gosh! You want to tune into one chat. Okay, this Wednesday night. Oh my gosh, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Dave and I are going to figure out how to do it. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. A beautiful, beautiful, it was going to be remote outside, now it's going to be inside because of weather. Made in the USA, brand new, beautiful, stunning, amazing, made in the USA, Wednesday night. It's going to be the same way the Italy show was. Like when you see the item come up, when we should, it's going here, then it's going to be available. And then the next one, then it's going to be available. So you got to be shopping in real time. I'm so excited. It's, oh my gosh, gonna be amazing. Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Eastern time. I do not know where my brain is. I should have been talking about that the entire time. I have I obviously lost account. it. Thank you so much, David Markstein. Okay, um, 8 p.m. Ear cuff and more shopping. Don't go away. Um, don't forget this week, Wednesday night, 7 p.m. Made in the USA. Sometime this week, watch your email, the brand new lip liner. Thank you all so much for joining us. Have a wonderful, wonderful evening, and we'll see you on Wednesday night. Bye, everyone.